Ask. And it's going to be a little bit. It's not gonna, I'm not going to say it's going to be a little bit difficult. Every game is going to be difficult. You're here trying to play for TI, so of course it's going to be difficult. But the laning stage is going to be difficult, more difficult than usual, just because of the way they drafted. However, if they can get out of the laning stage... Oh, Somnus. They've got some good heroes. Rebellion though, decides to stack up as five. We don't get to see this too often, and this is the first time today they pull it off, and that leads straight into a mid-spirit getting killed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Love how Somnus himself <laughs> dropping off voice line. Of course. And this mid matchup was already Pango favored. 30 seconds to now with that first blood, it's going to be most likely Pango dominant. Unless he's yeah. going to get an instant wand out there, which he normally wouldn't do because he'd save for the bottle. But he's like, oh, I get extra gold. Let's just bring that out right now. Why not? Yeah. Branches for the Tangos and a straight up magic wand. So a lot of stats going in the way of the Pango. Pango actually having, as an agi hero, uh, more HP and more damage than the Earth Spirit does. So uh, with that ward placed down, Abed, he's got information that the ward is there. Fly walks in to take the bounty rune away. Rebellion do get three. Okay, so crit saber. Saber level's able to yoink one right in front of Lou. How, how do you play an AA Spectre lane versus a Dawnbreaker? Like, this lane seems impossible. Am I missing something here? Yeah. Oh, and also, why did I also say Pango as an Agi hero? <laughs> For some I reason. Oh. I, I don't know. I wasn't really listening to that. Sorry. I was just trying to think. Yeah, well, you, you missed on my off. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, don't worry. I was there. there to oh, call yeah. you out on it. Of course, he's universal. No wonder he's so high on high on damage. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like this, this is top lane you mentioned, this Dawnbreaker. It's definitely going to be rough. You can already Look, see the Spectre yeah. taking some big hits there. The flying seems impossible. But, oh, anyway, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Mid lane, it, probably nothing fancy is going to happen here as usual. They're going to just trade some creeps. I expect Ovid to maybe come out ahead in that exchange just because he didn't get that early first blood. And the bot lane, you can make things happen technically with the Clockwork Darkseer. But if your positioning is good on fly, you're never really going to kill him because if you disrupt someone, while they're being battery assaulted in the cogs, right? You're going to come back with two more illusions that are going to eat up that battery. They're going to kill the cogs really quickly. So not a matchup that's very favorable here for the clockwork. So both side lanes yet again kind of favored here for Shopify Rebellion just based on the heroes alone here. Despite the, the good start there for Abed into the mid lane, definitely is going to pay off a lot of Asomnus. He is, he's cleared out pretty much everything so far. Abed with just that one deny, and pretty much even in the CS department between the two, where we're watching Crit battle it out versus Xian Ming on the Ancient Apparition. Crit's just going to soak up the, the freeze here. Saber Light walking Yeah, he between. really wanted to block that camp. He just brought a salve, though, so he will heal up back to full yeah. after that one. Really Fine. valued. Just oh, not broken with camp. a Vortex, though, so he doesn't get any heal, actually. Oh yeah, that does. That does. Always work. a bit of a surprise element, right? Like sudden vortex. Oh, south broken. Yeah, I think at this point, you have to know that ice vortex does damage. He just probably thought he was far enough away where that wouldn't happen. But surprise, that spell has oh, a really long. Oh boy, Lou in huge trouble. Probably not enough to kill him, but this this is all very costly. However, crit and saberlight. Very, very low on resources right now. At least they got a couple tangos to bring them back up to speed, but still, good opener there onto Lou. And that's what you got to be afraid of, because that, that combo scales. It's They're going to keep being able to do it, and one of the big things when you play against Dawnbreaker is like, can you stun her to interrupt the Starbreaker, or can you just get away? And neither of the heroes can do that. As you see, they're just going to go. Yeah, well, that's a kill get? that's going to be successful in doing so. Crit. Neither of them can help each other. Yep. Oh, that dagger completely missed. Bing bong. And now the wave is going to be in their position. Luckily, they do have a small camp, but... I just don't know how this happens. Like, how can 
you get such a free Dawnbreaker game. Allison FY trying to make uh, slow progress to fly. Arteezy is there to help out to destroy the cogs. This oh, I guess he's uh, dead again. Yeah, that's. I don't think that's <laughs> much of a surprise. <laughs> you blink, you're gonna miss it, and that's uh, no TP. 60 uh, seconds. Uh, you have no wave either, so all crit has to do is make sure he doesn't pull that small camp, and this lane is officially checkmate. Spectre will no longer be getting much CS. And you have a 2k lead at 4 minutes. I mean, the game started with a 1k lead for Rebellion, like, you have 50 seconds on the clock and you're already that much ahead, but... Things are really shaping pretty good for Shopify. Pretty good indeed. This is exactly what they need to do. Ah, man. I'm really like, I hate to see when something like this happens. 2k gold lead at like two minutes, you know, because <laughs> it's not easy to come back from that. But there's always possibilities. And I'm looking at the six minute room. I'm looking at some rotations from the mid laners. And speaking of that, Somnus is already making a rotation. Yeah, Fly, he's dropping low here. FY and Chalice have been doing all the heavy lifting, but Earth Spirit showing up with 400 HP. And Crits here, Arteezy wants to turn for the fight and return the favor. Can they get Somnus here? That would be absolutely okay. massive if they can get him. Yes, they can. <laughs> FY, Somnus down, and now on to Chalice they go. The Darks here are going to be the third casualty with Abed's rotation leading to two kills for him, one for Arteezy, and it's not just 2k fear. It's 3k now. It's growing. On the top lane, we're just going to continuously see some bullying action, most likely. I mean, Spectre, two points in Dispersion will be a little bit tanky. I mean, she just has to tank it. That's really all there is to it. There's no getting away from it, so just build as many items as you can. You can see the Wraith Band is completed. Chain Mill is completed. A little bit more armor to go ahead and deal with it. But you're not stopping Saberlight from free farming this game. It, it ain't happening. You're not stopping Arteezy from free farming this game. And Abed, that lane was the only one that was kind of even, right? Like, you yep. did have these two, but with that one rotation, the bot lane, really disastrous for Somnus. Six minute rune. All right, we will get on Somnus. So perhaps maybe Somnus can use this to. I'm not sure where he's going to go with this one. I feel like top lane's a hard kill just because Dawn is so tanky. It has the Lotus, it has some huge raindrops. Do you want to go bottom? He already tried bottom. That didn't work for him. I don't think he might. I hate even to say use it. it at I all. don't know what he's going to do with this invis uh, this haste. I don't know what he he's, can do. He's it. not going to use it here. Uh, I think, I think <laughs> that kind of answer is it's just a rune that doesn't really do too much, but. Maybe they can try to find an opening on Fly, potentially. Yeah, just the, yeah he's going to try. He's coming in for the attempt. FY is going to start it off. Bubble already used up, trying to escape from the cogs. And here comes, oh, he misses the roll, but he does get the kick to connect. And that Fly kill, that's exactly what they could do and what they could get. And Somnus will take it. Yeah, I mean, there is no option to kill a core, so you just got to kill support with it. Yeah, whatever you can. All of the CS uh, currently looking green. That's uh, Shopify's color. Uh, at least in this particular game, their jerseys might be a little bit different. I actually kind of like the Rebellion jerseys. I don't remember them. They're, They're not super white. flashy, but uh, not the big Rebellion. Hard to see from that picture. Just... Yeah, I'd have to check it out on social media somewhere. And hello, hello Spectre. Goodbye, Spectre. Nice to meet you. Wasn't. Somnus trying to roll in. Doesn't quite connect here. FY, he's also in between. He's got the cogs ready. Trying to protect Somnus here with Abed with the Rolling Thunder. And Clockwork is going to drop next. Crit is racking up the kills. He's 4-0-4 on Avenge support. And he's about to surpass Chalice in net worth with what he's accumulated so far. On he's this getting support. close to level 6, actually. That too. Yeah, I mean, like one more wave and a half if he chooses to leech the experience. Or maybe just one Somnus kill here. Oh, they're uh, going to all be into the bottom lane, trying to save Chalice. Nobody to save him, though. Everybody just went off the die. That's not his ally oh, <laughs> That too. Yeah, there's nobody There's nobody TPing in to help him out. That's that's the main cause. Everybody was too busy rotating to top. Somnus with no teleport remaining. Uh, or at least on cooldown. AA is the one. Sean Ming, who doesn't have a teleport left. So they're just going to have to sack the Darkseer. Now a 4k lead. They're trying to go on to crit. That's a big streak for Somnus if he can get it. Drops the Magnetize, and here comes Lou. And John Ming gets the spree. 
But they What's get the job done. stealing every kill. You know what I mean? What a wonderful world we're living in here. Crit is getting all the kills. And another support takes the Another street. support gets the kills. <laughs> what, I forgot we were watching a game before. Fly was getting the kills the last yep. game. Yeah. Yep. And what do carries even get anymore? We're not even strongest in the late game. We're the worst in the early game. You don't give us kills anymore. I guess we just get tangos. They're at the bottom of the food, food chain. <laughs> <laughs> we bring all the creeps you farm to the supports for getting a kill. Somnus, eh, pretty inevitable. He teleported straight to help out his tower, hoping somebody would go. But it, it looks so disconnected, Fear. It's, it's again looking like a bit of individuals. Yeah, it definitely. The wheels are falling off pretty hard on this one. 5k gold lead at 9 minutes is something you don't see every day. But I think just from the laning stage, it had to be pretty... I mean, it was obvious for me. Like, I'm not competing in TI right now. I'm not scrimming. But I won't look at the draft and I'm just like, wow, this looks pretty bad just from there. And it's kind of playing out that way. But I'm always open to, like, have players give pleasant surprises of, like, oh, wow. That was really cool. I didn't think of that. But unfortunately, not one of those games where many of those things are happening. It's just like Team Chainmail over here on the Jure. Because everyone's trying to build some armor. Yeah. Just to survive. Just to survive. And even that's not going to be enough. Even for Lou's case. I was already fighting oh, Favorite yeah. Life before. And Crit shows up, makes things even worse. Inspector will die. And it, there's just nobody to help him out. They all had teleports, but... It looks like they just don't value the Spectre's life. It's really not a carries game. It's definitely difficult, and I think that's why you often see the carry pool being so small every patch. Because there's not a lot of heroes that you can pick that can deal with this type of bad start. And that's why we saw like Arteezy go to the Luna or the Sven, even though it wasn't a good game for it. As they're gonna maybe get a kill on the crit here, but... It's taking some time. I don't know. Well, he's waiting for the blade mill. He's stunning him. And he's dead. But of course, and the support will get him. <laughs> it's Jian Ming. Yeah, he's going to get this one too. Very night and day performances from Azure Raid. He started off so good yesterday, but today, at least this series, not looking too hot. They are going to be playing another one right after this. Uh, Shopify already did their task off the double series. They lost the bet boom 2 0. And it is indeed Betboom that's going to be playing Azure Ray on this stream after uh, this series is played out. But let's watch this fight right now. We've got Etienne Ming throwing in a big bubble, but Saberlight able to dodge that entirely. FY roaming along with the clockwork, and Somna still fighting with everything that he has with the Magnetize. Rolling straight back in onto the SD, but here comes our tour. The big bad Sven to slice them down, potentially get some more kills. FY is already down. Chalice is also dropping low with no more th no more resources, nothing left to give. Swaps in for the stun for our team easy to clean up house get that second kill for themselves somnus he's spent all of his rocks yeah not a single one remaining he used every rock to keep that magnetized rolling and at the end of the day they just got the shadow demon they got some other heroes low they almost killed Saberlight, but not quite but damage enough, unfortunately i mean he did everything that fight like even more than just everything and it still wasn't enough nope because other heroes need to do damage too. Unfortunately. I mean, they. Alright, so here's the good news, right? Mm -hmm. Blade Mill. This item is only as strong as your opponent is. And luckily for them, they're going to have multiple Blade Mills on Spectre and Earth Spirit. And Shopify is really strong right now, so these Blade Mills are going to be strong as a result. So that's some good news. Yeah. That is some uh, easy NA mats for everyone to understand. <laughs> <laughs> but you're absolutely right. So easy. Like, I, I think that's a really good, uh, like, not a motto, but a, but a good slogan in a way. Like, Blade Mill is only as strong as your opponent gets. So I really like the sound of it. Wow. My sells one. Trademarked. 6k lead for Rebellion and continues to go in one direction that is theirs. Azure Ray still has a capability of fighting back with the Spectre scaling. The Earth Spirit can still make a lot of good plays. Radiant Same with the Dark Seer, but uh, Rebellion has a good head start at least. Yeah, it's definitely a really big head start here, but we all seen Spectres. 
Yeah, this, this one almost here. dying at the same time. Ice Bless is coming in, and it's um, still a really oh, good one. Oh, nice oh. combination coming out from them, but they need to capitalize on this fight. However, Chalice just goes down first, and nobody dying from the Rebellion side. Instead, it's Arteezy wreaking havoc. As the pirate he is, he's instilling fear. Not you, my friend. Into the hearts of Azure Ray. Such a great spell combination, but just no damage. It's just, if you, I don't know, man. It's just getting I don't think hard it gets watches. better than that. Yeah, because like you can't play better than that as a sure ray. And the team fight still isn't even close, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, that was picture perfect. And they still lost the fight. It goes back to show you how, much, how important these uh, early laning stages are in getting the right lane matchups. But Arteezy's playing great. His uh, his he movements, is. he's matching a specter in movement. Just look at that. that. You got like the hook shots. You got the ice blast. You got the back wall combos. Everything just crisp clean, and you just suspect four heroes to die right away. Nope, we got a Dawnbreaker. He didn't kill the SD. Didn't kill the Venge. Didn't kill the Pango. And Arteezy just cleans them away. Yeah. Right moment, right time. Good awareness to show up to these fights. Honestly, in this series, Arteezy has really stepped it up. We'll see maybe the level of competition was a little bit different than that boom team, or perhaps he leveled up after that series. Time to get a little more serious. As mentioned before, he, they did lose the Bet boom team pretty hard 2-0, but they have beat them in the past. It's not like they're not up for the task. Yeah. I feel like they're just, they need to warm up a little bit, I suppose. And with the history as well, they were three and two in terms of matchups this entire year. As FY, he's in trouble. More than just trouble, he's dead. So DD Pango with a defusal OOC. Of corrosion does re really sting on top of that. And they are thinking about Roshan. There's a ping coming out. They're just outside. Uh, we're not a ping, a scan. Uh, they're just outside of the scan range, though. Yep. Oh, that's most up, ready to around. go. I like how he's scouting around with his courier. <laughs> Sending the courier through the portal. <laughs> SD shard. Oh, Aren't they have easy. the courier on each Okay, portal. it's a BKB reveal. Doesn't quite clean up Chalice, but they do isolate Lou. And he's pretty much all by himself here. Pops the blade fail. They're going to reset for a second. RTZ oh, is dropping low, and RTZ is actually going to go down. Somnus got the kill, and now Saberlight on the run, and Abed also kind of uh, kind of low on resources right now, waiting for some cooldowns to come back up so he can fight back. But our uh, Saberlight, can he run away? No, he can't. The connection there from Somnus. And FY, back in action. Can't quite get the Abed. Somnus, he does end up running out of the tree. <laughs> Send there goes John Ming. And crit goes down to the illusions from Chalice Rebellion. All right, Somnus, I see you. We see what's happening right now, and Fly, that's the fourth kill going in the way of uh, Azure Ray. If they can clean out this SD, which they will do so, that's a pretty heavy price to pay in a way. But Abed, he's not done yet. One oh, more yeah, good yeah. Uh, swashbuckle might just finish off to FY, but he can't get to him. But damn, Azure Ray so showing some signs of life, if you could put it that way. Yeah, they were able to just, like, be super tanky on the Spectre. They got the Ice Blast off on the Arteezy. Once his BKB ran out, perfectly timed roll by Somnus. Really just, like, crushing that fight there. And we're starting to see a little bit the Spectre with the Max Dispersion just sitting there and just manning up against the Sven with the BKB. He didn't die there. You're going to need to, at some point... I guess Arteezy didn't... He went for the BKB and lost the Echo Saver, so he lost a bit of damage output for that, for survivability. But maybe he just needs the damage more than anything. Just keep farming up until you get to that Silver Edge. Once you have a Silver Edge, then I think these fights become a lot more simplistic. But they might find RTZ again here. They find Crit instead. All right. RTZ gets the lift. So that's a support kill going in the way of Azure Ray. Somnus secures it. Just tanking the gank for RTZ there. And that 8k lead, that economy lead, oh sorry, it wasn't even 9,000 probably at the best. It's uh, it's already dropped by two-thirds now. So very big comeback for Azure Ray. We, we looked at the early game, you're like 2k behind four minutes in. Like that's that's a massive margin considering how much you're able to do uh, that early on in the game. Not a lot. 
So you're just hitting creeps and trying to focus on your game and try to keep your keep yourself up to the pace. But one, two good fights, and especially this just one fight that was successful for them, leads into a huge swing that kind of recovers almost all that you lost in the early game. And that's going to be like the downside of picking the Dawn into the AA. Sure, you can bully the AA in the laning stage because he has no stun, but as you see, he can't really save Arteezy when he gets initiated on like that because he will not be providing that extra heal. Yeah. And I think that is like going to be a big difference maker and it's going to force Saberlight to also not go for this Aghanim's build and go straight into just being a carry, which I don't think he minds doing that, but Pango... He has an Aghanim Scepter completed now. This is a very farmed Pango. Meanwhile, Rebellion with their smoke. Three heroes towards the bot lane. Unsuccessful in finding any targets. But they could still have a secondary uh, chance. By going into the Ancient Camp where Lou is right now. And it looks oh, like he's the so hunt... Oh, he's so close to his Radiance. The hunt might just Will be successful. The smoke pops. And here we go. The bubble set up here. Crits here. He's Abed's here. And here comes away. Saberlight as well. And he's Will he so it? close to getting it. But... Looks like it's going to be taken away from him. Yes, it is. I think no, they've actually managed to buy. He got, he got to buy. But here comes Arteezy on the back line. Goes for Chalice. Darkseid dropping low on HP. Flying crit already dropped out by Somnus. And so is Saberline and Rebellion. have already lost so many heroes. But Chalice is going to be taken down at least. They're going to go straight onto the Sven. Somnus with the roll in. Arteezy dropped half HP. Just go and throw the stun onto the clockwork of FY. That's a shield so running around. He doesn't have a lot of targets to hit right now. And he's trying to get a bit of distance. Arteezy, he has no TP out. So Abed, they kind of realize how hopeless he this situation is right now. And he's dead. And RTZ is still running in circles. They're just zoning him right now. Somnus full HP goes straight onto the Sven. RTZ fighting back. He's trying to fight 1v3. But it is too much to deal with. FY even pops a blade mill of his own as well. And Rebellion. They no longer hold a proper economy lead. Somnus doing so much work in that what fight. What is going on with Somnus, man? This guy is popping off. He's mad. He's like... You're gonna trash both my side lanes, then gank me. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna power up on you guys on this one. And he has a completed heart with Blade Mel. It's 20 minutes into the game. Chill out, bro. And they use everything on Spectre. I think she got her Blade Mel off. And now all of a sudden, this dispersion bringing back a lot of that damage to the side of Rebellion. She even buys the Radiance before death there, so. Definitely super happy. Everything was picture perfect for Azure Ray in yeah. that particular fight. This game, it is super important for Shopify. Azure Ray, they are pretty much safe since the uh, first game with Thunder Awaken and Liquid. Spoiler alert. Uh, has turned into a for fortunate situation for Azure Ray. So they don't have to worry about if they end up losing this game. But if they do win this game, that could hinder Shopify's possibilities because uh, that game, I think that's still going on right now in the mainstream. And uh, go, go find out for yourselves because if Thunder Awaken can win that game, and Rebellion Arteezy. doesn't win this one. We have a tiebreaker, but Arteezy living on the edge here and his life is forfeit. Oh boy. All right, he's alone up there. Gets caught by the clockwork, I believe, in that one. Has to pop the BKB, tries to run away, but there's no running for Somnus. This man will hunt you down. He will kill you. And he may even just take your hopes of winning this game straight away from you when you have... I would say I haven't... That was the most convincing early game I've seen so far of this tournament. And for that 9k gold lead... Yeah. So he's just gone in a matter of minutes. That's rough. That's definitely really rough. But Somnus is just fighting tooth and nail this game to so keep his team in it. Quick shadow step used there by the by the Spectre. Gonna jump on the Saber Light, the Dawnbreaker, but no TP cancel available. So Saber Light gets out. Also got his courier in the way. That's a mage or slayer that he's down. holding on to. Well, he runs into another set of issues. Like, <laughs> oh, he dodged ice blast. Still, but Somnus is low. coming for you. John Ming, very low on cooldown on chilling touch, but Somnus might be the difference maker here. And just like that, he's gonna go down. Somnus with another kill. He has been playing out of his mind here. He's really, really. Hit 
squandering Rebellion's chances of this game. But Somna's not going to get targeted on by RTZ. Oh, it's going to be there as well. Stun connected, and he's just perma stunned to death with that Rolling Thunder. And a, you know, I could have said a sigh of relief from Rebellion that we finally got this troublemaker out of the way. Another Spectre, Haunt, or at least the Shadow steps straight onto Fly. Takes okay. down the SD, two for they one. They want to still and fight or what? Azure Ray is coming back, they caught Hookshot, it connects, it will go onto Crit's Vengeful Spirit, but he does manage to force Snap away before Cogs are placed down. And there's an Ice Blast that could just snipe Crit. And there we go, what a wall. wall. It does hit onto Artis, he gets the stun onto two, and they're not going high ground. They're happy with what they've been able to cause so far. And it's three kills at the price of Somnus. When they realize that they use the God Strength, they use the BKB, they use the Rolling Thunder, all to kill Somnus, that uh, they can fight. There's pretty much nothing left though in the tank, right? For Shopify Radiance Rebellion on that fight. So I really like how Lou decided to join that fight. And we're starting finally. We get to see Azure Ray here. They're playing like a team now. This they stopped this individual performance. They're going together. Yeah, maybe Somnus was a bit deep in that fight, as he even kind of like indicated himself that yeah, that it's may have been like, a bit of a mistake. It's kind of like, did some individual say something, or did they all just suddenly snap and realize we need to do something different here? Because it's it's working, whatever they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's called teamwork, but it's working so well compared to what this entire game, uh, at least over half of this game, what it was, was Rebellion leading with eight to 9,000 gold. Oh, Azure Ray are the ones uh, in charge of the economy lead of this game. And I, I had a thought, but I lost it, so I'll get back to that in a bit. Lovely. I hate when that happens. I got a thought, too. Go ahead. Nah, I lost it. Oh, you no, lost it, too. <laughs> well, Rebellion probably might have lost this game, too, if this keeps on going. I mean, that's going to fight to haunt them. Yeah, that's the, the issue. Like, the gold lead, I really thought Rebellion had them outpicked on this one because I just saw the early game transitioning into a point that I think would be unmanageable. But if you were to tell me it's like 40 minutes in the game and this game is completely even, I'm going to go with a team that has uh, Spectre, Earth Spirit, and Darkseer almost every single time. And that's kind of what it's turning out to. Like, the Spectre is almost the same net worth as the Sven. Somnus, he's completely free farming as well. He's almost got a Shiva's, by the way, on top of the Heart plus mm -hmm. Blade Mel. Heroes are getting very large and very concerning, because once it becomes a point where Arteezy just can't kill someone in like three to four hits, that's when you just lose the game, I think. Yeah. You know what I'd love to see this game from uh, Azure Ray that would really be the cherry on top of the cake would be a blade mail for FY, or sorry, for Tian Ming. Yeah, that would be pretty throwy. <laughs> <laughs> something just, you know, completely out of the box. He doesn't but... have enough HP to return damage, you know what I mean? That That is true, that is true. But you know the the times of playing against the Tinkers and the marches of the machines and you pop blade mills and you're running the more the merrier the more damage reflected back and Sven is a clean hero so the more blade mills the better he actually walks straight into Azure Ray they're gonna pop the saber lane ulti right away Crit's gonna be finding his Somnus on the high ground as well but Abba's gonna be there gonna get stuns to connect on the ES and Somnus gonna need some help Ice Blast is coming in but a beautiful rolling thunder just going back and forth off and making them work they will oh, take down man. the Aegis of the Spectre, and Somnus is still being controlled and finally taken down, Lou. They're going to force out RTC for the time RTC. being. He's and a three -man stun, he's maybe. coming in back for a round number two. Takes down Chalice. FY trying to turn around, but Rebellion only lost one hero so far. Saberlight still being controlled by Lou. Lou still running right on top of him. Chris going to be low on HP. So is FY. Lou and FY. Can the dynamic duo make it work? Does the magic work in their favor? Saberlight's about to burn out of HP with Urn. Finally, that's taken down. FY running away. RTC almost kills himself there with the blade mail. Oh, no. Shadow Step coming out low. Going to go chase for the RTC kill as he can. It's a triple kill for him, and he's not done yet. He's got Armin next on his sights. He's just gonna roll up, try to buy some time, trying to get some distance here, but the Shadow Step, or yeah. not the Shadow Step, the Spectral Dagger, not gonna connect. And also, Lou will have to walk out, well, not empty-handed, but doesn't clean out the rest of the team, but holy damn! I mean, Artizi just killed himself on a blade mill at the end there. Whoops. I, I get it, he wanted to get that, uh, the break off, but unfortunately he hit him like three times with the blade mill on. Sure, he was broken, but 
he just turned back and fought you and ends up killing you and you're gonna see a bit of a replay here they poked him at the beginning here and somnus is doing his job of just getting in there maybe he should consider a bkb because he is getting chain stunned quite hard but we'll have to see gets out for now agus really does save this fight though in a lot of different ways because with the specter coming back in the fight that is the reason why they're surprise so surprise fly has a blink but there's a black back wall right in front of the tier three tower and saber light can't quite control chalice there ice blast is also into the base but it's not gonna connect onto this sd radiance burn still coming out of these nasty specter illusions but he's fine inside the fountain not enough for them to get the kill, but just to get that quick surprise element as a raid. Definitely feel like a, you know, very dangerous, very deadly opponent now. Like any oh, moment sure. they feel like they can just, just make a sudden snap decision and rebellions quickly corralling to regroup. I think once you finish this Abyssal Blade too, you just jump the Sven, right? He's your only threat. You jump him, Abyssal Blade him, and you're going to man fight him, and you're probably going to There we go again. The Shadow Set right on top of Crit, but the hook shot as well in the back is only connected up to Saber Light, and he pops his BKB, so he's going to soak up some of the Frostbite damage there, and he's going to be okay, but the rest of them not looking so healthy. Fly is going to drop, and both supports gone from Rebellion. Azure A cleaning out the supports, a double for Lou, and they spotted RTZ, family. they're keeping in. Can they get to him? He has a gem on Somnus, but going the other way. Yeah. He's out of there. He's good. Pushed out top. Probably going to try and push up bot once he realizes the coast is clear. But for now, the coast is not clear. As guess what? Shadow step already off cooldown. 40 second cooldown. It's nothing. Very nice. And RTC, he's just sitting there like, do I want to go? Is this worth it? Meanwhile, they're going to just jump with the clockwork. Here comes the Shadow Step. They drop Saberlight very low with an RTC. He's down to 400 HP, very low to falling. BKB Toy to run away. Warcry as well. Get that extra distance. But Lou going to go for the bash onto the crit Vengeful Spirit, who's just going to give his life away so the rest of them can live a day longer. Somnus, though, on the roll, but nobody there. Our tier two tower. Can't man fight anymore. No, he cannot. The thing is, the more targets the hit clumped up, Sven loves those situations, but if they get any blade mails off, he's like, nah, <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> not. Pretty much, right? Like, he has the duration of his BKB to hit, which is six seconds. But how many hits are you going to get off in that six seconds if you're getting Abyssal Bladed, right? Which is minus two. Then you're going to get a random bash in between that two, which is another couple seconds. So... You really only have like a few seconds to hit heroes right now. And then otherwise you're just killing yourself to blade mills and slash dispersion. It's rough. It's, it's definitely getting rough. They're probably looking back mentally on the early game and wishing they could go back and make a few less mistakes there. Because this could be a completely different game if they didn't have those couple team fights where they overextended. But it is what it is, and it right is now, what it is the, indeed. The Spectre is just taking off, really. Yeah. This this hero has got all the items it needs in the game. It doesn't need anything else to carry this game. Everything else is just a luxury. And this is kind of like if you look at PA and the people I mean, look at the smoke right now. The game. FY in the front, the smokes popped off of Arteezy, but the rest of them are right behind him. Somnus, him? Chalice in a good position here. Back FY has the assault oh. cure off, by the way. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> that, that, that's gotta be one of the first times <laughs> I've seen an assault caress on a clockwork, but uh, you do you, FY, whatever seems to be working. <laughs> Definitely is. And Craig goes for the swap play, and Shalice still leader. That's a big kill. That is a really good stop for the fight. Fly snipe to the back level of the Shadow Step. And Ice Blast is flying in, harpooning in another target. It's FY. FY's gone, and so is that assault caress. Now Somnus trying to roll in for a connection onto Crit, but he rolls all the way out of the fight. Lou needs a car target to connect to. There's the quick star breaker used there by Sabre to keep Somnus busy. Somnus going all the way to the tier 3 tower. Crit's going to be taken down. Obit's going to be the next target focused on by Lou. Meanwhile, Arteezy snipes Xion Ming at the back line. Obit's going to be hit by another rolling boulder by Somnus. And that Radiant is yet again another kill. It's 3 for 3 taken and just 2 left on both sides. I mean, how the... The storyline of this game is just flipped entirely. 
Like, that was a perfect fight from Shopify Rebellion. You know how much work Chalice on this Darkseer has been doing. You kill him immediately. There was no vacuum. There was no wall in that fight. And still, it's like an even fight, if you even want to call it that. I'd say it's still a bit of a win here for Jure, but it was a 3 for 3 exchange. I wonder what Somnus figured out at some point of that early slash mid game. What he needs to do. Did he get like a... Uh... I, I'm not honestly. I, he he just he just understood exactly what to do. He's hyper focused. He's doing so much work for this team, keeping them in this what it what this game even is because it's like you said earlier. It's all over the place, but it suddenly turned into an Azure Ray somewhat dominance. Arteezy Sven is just not strong enough to beat all of them at this point. Spectre scaled into the game. Fy has an assault caress on a clockwork. <laughs> He's got Blade Mill AC for staff. I was wondering, like, why is he so aggressively positioned? And then I was like, oh, this Clockwork has, you know, 40 armor, 42 armor to be exact. <laughs> I can see it now with the Blade Mill. He is very, very tanky. And that's the issue for Arteezy right now. It's like, you can't really kill anyone quickly. Maybe the Darkseer. And, of course, they. that's it. Those are the two targets he can kill quickly. And that's a rough position to be in, because Abed, he's not playing a hero that does a lot of damage, or at least not burst damage right now. A lot of spread damage. And Saberlight, he's just not scaling, right? And Oh, there's a quick dead. jump on this, on this uh, Dawnbreaker, and there goes Saberlight. And that's what I mean. You picked this Dawnbreaker into the AA just because you wanted to win your lane. And they did. They won really hard. Arguably, it's worth it if you do want to play a draft to be like, okay, this hero is probably not good for the game, but we're going to crush lane so hard that it doesn't really matter. But in this game, you can't rely on the Solar Guardian because of it. Yeah, so, you someone, have to someone insert, we lost our lane. Oh, no. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> that's what Azure Ray is taking right now. We don't care if we lost the laning stage. We're ahead of this game right now. It's almost getting insurmountable. And the point I was trying to draw earlier was PA, right? That hero, its biggest weakness is it doesn't farm fast. It's very weak for a large portion of the game. But then in the late game, it just kills everyone. And if Spectre is a very similar hero to that, where it's weak in the early game, very exploitable, but is a monster in the late game. And I think Shop Fiber Billion really just missed that timing of fully exploiting this uh, Spectre. Yep. And now the Spectre is six slotted. And now you probably have the biggest mountain. Not so many jumps on Chalice before, but this time the smoke popping is not going to be one with RTZ. Gonna get bubbled up a little. Going straight for Fly. Fly's going to be gone. The Ice Blast is going to be on its way, but it's not even needed at that point because Flying Crit's already down and RTZ trying to fight back. Trying to take down Xion Ming. Just trying to, Just trying to chase him for the Saber Light. It's not going to be so. He's not going to be showing up in time. And there goes your Dawnbreaker. Tries to teleport away and not successful in doing so. Also a buyback off a of fly, but they don't have buybacks on the side of Rebellion. Uh, Azure yeah, Ray you... is going to march into the high ground. There's a chance you call it. There's a very good chance that you call this soon. Artisi just finished Satanic, and guess what? Well, a blast hit him, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Dawn also ulted on top of Artisi, trying to save him. Well, still doesn't do anything because you have an ice blast on you. Very unfortunate situation to be in here. But apparently they see something that I don't see that's going to make them stay in this game a bit longer. So they're going to have no more creeps anymore, which means they're going to... One of those games where Perseverance has paid off despite the, the oh, difficult the fountain bait, I see. Ah. Well, at least uh, that's going to open them up to take an entire... Well, every single Rex to be playing as this bottom lane is the next one to be targeted. Abed still trying to buy some time. 15 seconds for RTZ, and he's got gut strength up by the time he is alive again. Just cannot afford a buyback, so it's basically a one-trick wonder, one-trick pony for Rebellion. And Azure Ray, they also recognize RTZ's coming back up. But FY, oh my goodness, that's a risky hookshot with no backup. 
but he forces Saberlight oh. back to the fountain with that ulti. So ulti for ulti traded. He's just toying with them right now. But Ulu comes out out of nowhere with the shadow step. The vacuum is going to be there. It's right on top of Artisi and Saberlight. They're trying to go back and forth into the fountain, out of the fountain, into the fountain. And there they're going to stay as Somnus and Chalice and FY. As a race figured out, maybe a weakness in Rebellion in this game, but also figured out something I'm still yet to figure out. They've really made this game what it is. Arteezy's low, so is Somnus, about to be finished off, and he will drop. So does Saberlight. Chalice with a normal punch into the face of Crit. Crit gonna get, try to force that himself back into the into the fountain. There goes Chalice, <laughs> the 42 year old down. <laughs> Ah, oh, maybe a bit too cocky, I guess you put it that way, because this is Rebellion territory that we're talking about right now. Lou returning back to the fray, and RTZ is going to get cold feet, stuck on the spot, frozen on the spot, and there we have it. This series tied up, and you know what, Fear? It's all up to Thunder Awaken now. Yeah, it is. So, RTZ used Satanic three times that game, right? After purchasing it. And every single time he used it, he had uh, Frost Blast on him. Rough.